So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and Apple just released iPadOS 14.5 Beta 6. So Apple went from Beta 5 to Beta 6, I thought they were going to go from Beta 5 to either the GM or the release candidate, but it seems Apple's still tweaking their software a little bit more to make sure that we get, or you guys get, the most optimal version of iPadOS or even iOS 14.5. But with Beta 6, we actually got a cool new feature for both iPadOS and then another feature for iOS, which I do want to show off to everybody. But without further ado, let's see what's going on. So let's dive right in and figure out exactly what's going on here and what's new. So the first thing, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that I always post this right before actually updating it so we make sure to see exactly how much size. So we're looking at about 300 megabytes in terms of how big this update is. So give yourself about 600 megabytes of additional space to make sure that you have enough room to get this update done correctly and completed, right? So that is the update itself, about 300 megabytes, nothing too crazy. And that's what made me think that maybe this update wasn't gonna be that big or wasn't gonna be anything changed or maybe nothing visually changed because usually something that's that small, it's gonna be mostly bug fixes, and adjustments, making sure that everything is working properly. But if we go back into the settings, go to the about, and we see what build number we're on, right? So if we press on the 14.5, we go up and it says 18E5194A. So we've been on that A before, which is interesting. So Apple seems to be kind of reiterating on the same betas and just kind of renumbering them to a, the higher number. Cause I don't really remember going to beta. I mean, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, like what's the farthest Apple's gone with a beta program? Like have they been to beta seven, eight, nine? I don't really remember. I've only been playing with betas for the last about 18 months. And usually a five is the max that it goes to. I think six is the first time I've seen them go that high up, but I digress, right? So that is the build number and that's what we're looking at. But in terms of new things that came out, right? So if we go back into the settings and if we go into Siri and search, right? And then if we go into the voice, and I'm gonna play these out loud just to show you, but just to give you guys a little rundown, because I was a little bit confused when I first opened it. For me, it was a little bit different when I opened it up because I was expecting to have those new four voices, but since, since I have the South African accent as my default Siri voice, I always kept it that way just because I kind of liked it, I thought it was cool, but those still only have the voice one and voice two options. And then another thing that changed is that before, this used to say male, and then it used to say female voice. So now instead of saying male and female, now they're just voices in general. But to get the new iterations of voices, you have to actually go to the American one. And then you can see that it's actually downloading right now. So I thought that it would only take one download, but it seems like you have to download it every time that you switch it up. Because I did have it and set it up with the American voice and did download it fully. But this is what you're getting. You're getting two new voices and it seems like they did keep the male and female ones. They just renamed it as the male one being voice one and the female one being voice four. So if we try these new ones out, so this is what Hi, the one... I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. This is the one that I assume was the male one, and then this is the female one. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. And then voice two and voice three should be the new ones. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. So those are the new voices that we got with Siri, right? So the Voice one and voice four sounded very familiar, and then voices two and three are definitely brand new. And again, you can see that they're downloading, and on the bottom here, it lets you show, or lets you see exactly how much of that percentage you've completed downloading, which is kind of nice to have just to see how long it takes, because they're probably pretty big files. And again, so probably in the actual update, which was 300 megabytes, these files weren't downloaded and weren't included in that 300 megabyte update. So if you want to make sure you get the new ones, give yourself even more space. So give yourself like a gigabyte of space when updating to this one. And then the next thing that happened was actually on iOS 14.5 that I wanted to share with everybody because I personally use an iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is what's being used to record this. But I'm going to show a screenshot of this new battery optimization feature because on the iPhone side, you, you can see like what your battery percentage optimization is at, right? Mine's sitting in the high 80s at this point now, 18 months in with the device. But now Apple's recalibrating those batteries to give you a new battery percentage in terms of battery health. So let's see what that means because with the iPad, they don't give you that battery health, right? They just show you battery percentage and that's it. Underneath here on the iPhone, it gives you your battery health. And that seems to be a perfect segue to see how my battery life has been, right? So the last 24 hours, we're looking at about five hours and 27 minutes of screen on time with Spotify taking up a lot of that, about two hours and 22 minutes with 67%. Spotify was on, I had the Joe Rogan video podcast on in the background, so that's what probably drained so much battery. And then if you see in the last 10 days, again, Spotify, YouTube, LumaFusion in there, four hours, so you're looking at about five hours of screen-ish on time at 100%, and overall the battery's been getting better and better with these beta programs, which is nice to have. 
But other than those two changes, there hasn't really been much, so let's get out of this view and go to the normal view. So that is pretty much gonna do it for this video, everyone. Like I mentioned, there weren't too many physical changes, but at least we did get that new Siri update, which I think is awesome. Gives us more variety, gives us a couple more options to play around with Siri. Like for instance, my Siri was always like an Australian male. Why I did that, I don't really know. I just thought it always sounded cool, but now we have way more options. Yeah, we still have the same accents, but now we have different voices to go along with it, which is really cool. So kudos to Apple for giving us some cool new options that we never thought we would you know, want or need. And then also, I'm curious to see what happens with the 11 Pro Max and that new battery you know, recalibration that they keep talking about. So I'll keep you guys posted because it did say it's going to take a couple of weeks for it to recalibrate the battery. Whatever that means, I don't know what Apple's really doing with that, but let's see what that means exactly. And I'll give you guys an updated video maybe a week later or whenever you know, the new recalibrated battery percentage comes back to life. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, everyone. Comment below, did you guys update to the beta 6? Are you guys still waiting for the official release of iPadOS 14.5 to kinda dive in there and get that done? Because overall, iPadOS 14.5, you know, through, throughout all the betas have been really good from a stability standpoint. Battery has increased over time little by little as well, even with my older device. So things are looking up for what Apple's giving us with iPadOS 14.5. And I'm hoping it's gonna release pretty soon, but I really don't know at this point. I thought it would've been released uh, by today or maybe by the next day, but we still don't even have the RC edition. So stay tuned for that one. Maybe we'll get the RC on Thursday or Friday, but who knows what Apple's gonna do and what their you know release process is gonna be like. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Really smash that like button for me if you guys made it to the end of this video because hopefully it means that you liked it and you learned something. But until next time, peace.